Hello, I'm Trevor Boria. We're doing six axis solar tracking day. What was this about? Let's get into her. We've already got solar panels and they're already arranged in a grid and we've already wired that grid. Very simply. Uh, power's on one side, logic on the other. I like to keep them separated. You don't have to, I just like to. I don't know why I like to, but I do. So all our logic feeds back to this wall and we have a cable going up there where we're gonna put a daylight sensor. Does it really matter which way it's pointed? I mean, it does, but we can move it after. Like, we don't, I'm not going to go through figuring out a compass to point north. And I don't think point north works everywhere. I mean, right here it tells you nothing. Obviously, we'll connect that sensor with a cable. Ta-da! This is the bottom of that cable. I would show it to you, but that wall is in the wrong way around, so it makes it on the outside. You don't care about that. That's fine. These batteries are hooked up to the power cable from the solar panels? I forgot what we were doing already. Off of the battery is this transformer, which goes to this power cable, and that power cable comes over here and then stops. We're gonna put all the logic in place, and then we'll cable it, and that will make more sense. The first thing we want is a logic reader. Two. Two logic readers. Yes. And then a batch writer. Again, two batch writers. <laughs> a math unit. And finally, a memory unit. Now we're gonna power this, but nothing. I'm gonna do it and I'll show it to you. That's the power. It's just power, it's not logic. It comes in from the cable. Yeah, that's the word. Off the battery, through the transformer. That was very specific. We're gonna run one wire all the way across the top to the memory unit. Same thing on the bottom, but it's gotta come all the way over and get that side of the math unit too. And all the sides of everything. Like this. <laughs> um, we're gonna label it. And I'm gonna put a link in the description to the website that I used to help me with the game. And I'm gonna label it the same as that. And I might use that website to make sure that I do this correctly. I don't think I'll need to. I've done this lots of times, but... Labeler! So the first logic reader, we're gonna name A. Second logic reader... I think we're gonna name it C. Let me double check. I know it should be B, but... The internet. And the memory unit, we will call D? I don't know why I said that, like you were gonna answer my question. That was weird. And the first batch writer will be B. The second batch writer is F. I guess we'll name it E, but I don't think it really matters. <laughs> While we have the labeler out, we're gonna set the top of the memory unit to 90. Cause I'm not dicking around with the screwdriver. 90. That's it, we can put this away. We never need it again. I mean, not never again, but not right now. So the in on both logic readers is gonna be the daylight sensor which I think is fairly obvious. Daylight sensor. And then on A, we want the variation to be horizontal. And on C, we want vertical. <laughs> I forgot the word. <laughs> I just had no idea. Like I was just, there was nothing there. My brain reached for it and there was not a word there. B is pretty simple. The out type is solar panel. Yes. And then the in is A. Logic reader A. And the out is also horizontal because we don't have to do any math. Like that's just, that's the same as the simple one I built the other day. Now we've already set C. Batch writer F. The out is also solar because that's what we're doing here. The out variation will be the vertical. Yeah, but the in is going to be the math unit, which I labeled E, <laughs> the math unit. Hang on. Let me just, let me just think here for the math unit. We want out set to add, which it is input. One will be logic reader C. That took me a long time to remember what I was doing. Input two is going to be the memory unit, which I called D and that's done. I mean, we got to turn it all on. But I'm gonna remove this section of the wall real quick. 
Okay, we're gonna flip them all on. I'm gonna jump back over here so we can see them move. And hopefully they're pointed at the sun, which is directly overhead. So that's gonna be kind of hard to tell. Math unit. Memory unit's always on. It's a memory unit. Logic. Batch. Logic. Batch. Those are definitely pointed in the wrong direction. You know what? They're not pointed in the wrong direction. I just thought the sun was way more overhead. We have 99% efficiency, and they're definitely tracking. And we did everything right, because when they didn't point where I thought they should, I went and checked online, and I did it correctly. And I've included that link. It worries me that I went to put my wall back together, and I have other pieces here for another wall I've taken apart somewhere. Because I've done a bunch of work on the base. That's the end of today's video. All we're doing is the solar tracking. I made this video yesterday, and it wasn't good, so I redid it. But I've also done a bunch of work on the greenhouse. And that'll be in tomorrow's video. So you have a good day. Thank you for watching. Not all gamers are pro.